wanna talk about some common ways to improve your processes. The first one is obviously identifying bottlenecks. Now the reason why I say obviously is because you might know exactly when someone's over capacity, but we need to make sure that we're planning for the over capacity, right? We don't wanna wait for it to happen. We wanna be able to prepare and you know, bring up our defense a little bit to be able to handle the offense of everything that comes into the business. Now that means if we have you know, five sales guys and only a couple operations, we're going to be running to a bottleneck pretty quickly if those sales guys are ramping up product really fast. So be careful, identify your bottlenecks, and plan accordingly. So the second one is streamlined communication. Now what I mean is if I had to send someone a really urgent text or get something like a really urgent answer, right? If I needed something now, I don't want to just send an email and be like, hey, when you can. That's not the point of streamlined communication. I want to call them three times over and just get it you know, as, as soon as possible. Now, we don't want to do that every single time, but that's why if we set up the right expectations on how we communicate what information, we're going to be able to be efficient in everything that we do and allowing your team to feel a little bit less stressed to where maybe if they do have to stress for the urgent answers, they'll be able to respond accordingly and not feel like it's getting lost in the rest of their you know, questions or the rest of their answers. Number three, embrace technology solutions. Now, the reason why I say that is not to say, oh, use software, because everyone and their mother is using software. That's just how it is. It's not like this brand new thing that we need to mention. What I'm referring to is improving our softwares to actually follow the processes that we documented, not making up some random thing that's not helpful, right? So when we think about taking our processes and applying to software, that's when we want to really streamline automation if we can. Now, don't just start automating everything because there's a Zapier integration or some type of button that's going to magically say it's automated because you're going to run into a lot of trouble and a lot of processing that automation doesn't realize it's doing. So be careful with automation, but use it where you can. Use it where you know that it's going to work and not mess things up, right? Don't want information or data piling up somewhere that's going to slow things down or make things confusing in the long end. So the second subset to technology is AI. Now, I know everyone's ranting about AI, and it's a great tool. It's amazing for what it can do, but it can't do everything yet, right? So be careful with how you use that, whether you're using it for scripts or even for training. We want to make sure that what we're saying or the information that we're presenting to our audience is correct, and it's still our voice.